The fossil fuel industry has been claiming that natural gas is a rich fuel to renewables for the past 40 years. Given the growing opposition to compressors and pipelines in Massachusetts, what do you see as the path to renewables in the common world? Oh, I think that's such an interesting question right now. Um, you know, we have so many opportunities in our district. Um, I'm so proud that I was at Fleckman and Hull when, uh, you know, the Hull Municipal Life Plant um, decided to try to put up the first wind turbine on the South Shore. And I supported um, every step of the way and then the future projects for offshore wind as well. Um, so I think that there are opportunities that each of our communities can make on the local level um, as well as larger statewide and nationalized strategies. Um, so I would work with every community to try to figure out whether it's the solar or whether it's wind, um, to see what we can do in each community and as a region to shrink our carbon footprint. I think that there are also some nice strategies. Um, we've been talking a lot about, uh, or the governor I should say, has been uh, proposing a lot about hydropower as a nice opportunity to transition off of some of the <coughs> fossil fuels that we've been having and um, you know we should be mindful as we're decommissioning the Pilgrim power plants um, so a lot of these things are coming offline we have to start doing things like lifting the net metering cap and really starting to um, you know support these kinds of industry growth and what's wonderful about it is, as we, you were talking about earlier, about what are our opportunities for economic development, this is one that could really work out well for innovation on the South Shore, because these are all new burgeoning fields um, where there are opportunity. Our, we have a highly educated um, workforce on the South Shore, so I also see these as economic development opportunities for our, our residents as well. So I, and I think we've touched on it already in terms of climate change and the fossil fuel issue, but I think the um, Pilgrim plant closing uh, is kind of a bellwether for us. And it, 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 uh, it, it can be on, ominous in one sense in terms of the employment issues. I know people are going to lose their jobs, but it's also a great opportunity. I think the legislature has to take the lead and come up with creative ways to invest in alternate energy in terms of fossil and, and solar. And uh, again, one of them, I think Joan mentioned it, but one of them I mentioned as well, is lifting that net medium cap. I mean, there's so many opportunities that we have. It is the future. Uh, we need to get on board. And I know that Massachusetts has always been a leader in these areas. And, and uh, I would do whatever I could as a, as a senator to make sure that this district uh, is, in, is involved deeply in, in that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I'd like to mention under renewables, um, since we both touched on Pilgrim, is that. I think the other thing that's important for our district is that our state senator fight to make sure that it is decommissioned safely. There are a lot of issues wrapped up in that. And, uh, you know, I, I sat with some of the advocates down at Duxbury recently, and, you know, it's going to be a moving target. It is something we're going to have to come together as a region, and it's going to affect us both economically and public safety wise as a region. So, since we both mentioned that, I just wanted to add that piece to my answer on the renewables. Thank you. Just briefly, I mean, I, I've also talked to folks um, since the announcement, and especially in Marshfield and Duxbury areas, they're very concerned about what's going to happen down at, at uh, the plant and how it's going to be decommissioned. So I think you need somebody who's going to be in the district, who's going to be able to be accessible and accountable. And I will tell you again that what I've been hearing through the district over the past uh, eight months that I've been campaigning is that the senator was not there, the senator was not accessible, the senator was not accountable. And they pleaded with me in Duxbury the other day, please don't forget. So you have my guarantee, I'll be there every step of the way.